basic rules for biological drawing for WAEC, NECO, GC, and other examination. An artist could be totally scored 15 or even 0% in a biological drawing, while you, with no artistic idea, could be given 80, 90, 100% in a biological drawing. I told you, a part could be intentionally removed. So, draw exactly what you see. Examiners will know if you use ruler or not. Size of drawing over size of specimen could be time consuming. I will show you the exact way, the simplified manner to go about magnification. If you are new to this very channel, don't forget to click the red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you enjoy more as we release them. Normally, a good examiner tests four things in a biological drawing. Number one, title. Two, quality. Three, details. Four, labels. We'll talk about this in details before the end of this video. But before then, let's walk you, let me walk you through the biological drawing procedures. You check your specimen, that's number one. Then you look at the materials you need to, um, to make that very specimen drawn. Then number three is that diagram that you have, that's your, that's your product. Number four is the label lines of that very diagram. And number five, the title of that very diagram. And number six, the magnification to cap everything up. Starting from number one, that's the specimen. You have to observe, that's observation. So observe the specimen provided very carefully and very closely for proper identification. You could need to get hand lens. If you need it, your school will provide this to you. So for you to see small specimens so that you'll be able to draw them clearly. Two, drawing material type. Use only well sharpened HB pencil. Some persons could say 2H and the likes. Some persons could say other types of pencils. Uh, but just understand that you need to get a pencil that is well sharpened and will bring out your diagram. Because you know that it must be well sharpened, you could need an extra pencil, you could need blade along or a sharpener. Just note that the pencil you would use to draw that very diagram must be well sharpened. Number three, drawing material to avoid. Do not use a blunt pencil for it will spoil your diagram. So you have to compare blunt and sharp pencil. Number four, simplicity. Ensure that your lines are thin and clear enough to be seen. So your lines should be woolly. Should not be woolly. It should not be broken or dotted as well. This is just like hidden details. Number five, product to avoid. I mean the diagram to avoid. Use double thin and smooth lines to represent cost sections. So if a specimen has a numerous structure like you have ears, you have uh, brittles, you have filaments. Represent only few of them in your drawing. So you could say like 10 of them. So, uh, so as to finish your work in time and also produce a good drawing. Number six, you have fixing errors. You could also say erasing it. You could also say pencil impression on paper. All this is just talking about you to avoid pressing your lead pencil to add on drawing sheets so that you can clean any wrong diagram uh, any drawing off without your work your work looking on tie D. just like i said the pencil impression on paper matters number seven erasing material make use of a good eraser through cleaner many students through candidates spoil their drawing by using eraser carelessly some erasers that are not good would color your drawing and truly it would make it worthless actually you will not even like it and most especially these ones are the cheap erasers so if you want to buy erasers don't really buy the cheap ones just buy those ones that will be good for biological drawing number eight detailed product you could also say detailed diagram in this very aspect you need to draw a big diagram so big diagram bring like big diagrams bring out the details of a specimen so here you it will be clearly seen and there are some times that you'll be like you'll be given specific 
uh, length of a diagram, maybe like 8 to 10. So just draw within that range. You could draw it, you could draw 8.5, 9, uh, 10. So that's the length of that very diagram. I tell you, if you draw something less also, the examiner might not really have time to, to be using ruler and all that to look at it. But the main thing, the main thing you should just have in your mind is that it must not fall below, like it must not fall too, too obvious. It must not be too obvious that your examiner would notice that, ah, this one is not, is not 8 to 10 that it should actually be. So, number 9, product proportionality. Here you have diagram proportionality as well. So, be sure that the parts of the specimen are proportionally drawn to give resemblance to the specimen so you must draw your specimen proportionally you understand the head must not be bigger than the tail the tail must not be bigger than the head the abdomen and the thorax must not be bigger than the the what the head and the legs so just balance those things very well number 10 product improvision so this is talking about the diagram improvision yeah draw report only what you see and not reproduce diagram seen in textbooks just to draw what you see a part will be removed by the examiner taking a look at cockroach if you if an examiner should remove one out of the antenna of a cockroach you know a cockroach should have a pair of antenna right so two antennas will be there two antenna will be there so if the examiner should intentionally remove one out of the antenna then see what you will draw if you will draw two antennas or it is sure that those people that did not really check that very specimen very well would what would draw two why those that was that checked the uh, the specimen very well would just draw what would just draw one and that will be used to sort out mark for those that actually checked it and adhere to the diagram 11 adhering to rubrics if a directive is given as to the length of your drawing adhere strictly to it what do i mean by 13 label lines neatness here you have to use ruler to draw label lines or guide lines so these guidelines should be a straight one and it should be horizontally don't draw a vertical uh, guideline and don't draw something that is not straight at all so they should they should touch the part trying to label yeah you should note that what you should not draw with your hand i'm telling you there's no how you will draw with your hand and the examiner will not know even though you draw a straight line so parents will be like ah i can draw a straight line something like that so i don't even need to get a ruler no you need to get a ruler to rule this very diagram so that it will be straight why because there's no how you will do it they are experienced those examiners are experienced so they will know that you've actually uh, used some because it will not be straight like a ruler so it must be neat 14 talking about label lines displacement so here yeah, guidelines must not be carried uh, must not carry arrow and must not cross each other so you don't use arrow as guideline and don't use a guideline that will cross themselves because just imagine now if a guideline should cross themselves uh, if guidelines should cross themselves that is telling you that uh, uh, you could actually be talking about the first one to be the answer to the second one so things like that and it would not be clear so it would actually give you a wrong uh, mark so 15 talk about label displacement one so here yeah, the label should be written in front of the guideline not above or below some persons will write it above some persons will write it below but no that is wrong write it at the middle of the like just in front of that very guidelines now talking about 16 we have label spelling so here yeah, spelling of the label must be Correct. Some persons would want to write amoeba. They will be writing something else. Just like amoeba now. They, they will be writing A, M. So just, you understand that kind of thing. So, please, try to understand the label and label those things correctly. 17. Label name. So, yeah, they are actually trying to see what you would do. If, if it's singular that you write or plural. Just look at it. You are identifying a, um, a part for God's sake. How will you be using something that is plural? Plural is used for something that is more than one. So, yeah, a, a, singular, a singular form would be needed. So, anytime you are trying to label like that, you should know that what you should use a singular structure, 
not what not a plural structure of that very uh part so 18 we have that to be label displacement so we've talked about one right so the two now is that you should avoid labeling inside the diagram some parents will be like ah this thing is inside the diagram let me just label them inside the diagram i'll put the grid line there uh, i'll put the guideline there now and then i'll label it no that is very very wrong 19 label amount put as many labels as you know on your drawing but they must be neatly arranged so adhere to this make sure they are neatly arranged 12 20 so we have that to be label clarity so yeah if your handwriting is poor you advised i would advise you to use something like a capital letter or block letter that like people see to label your drawing if you look at it even in bank bank will tell you that what if you want to write your name or something like that you should write that you use what capital letter and uh, even other official documents like that they would give space for you to write it in inside the box write each each words and uh, each, each letters inside a box so that when you are writing it it will be clear so that when they are documenting it they will not document a for something like each you understand and this could affect our result uh, uh, I'm, I'm telling you this could affect the results even talk, uh, forgetting about biology now and looking about the world eh? azan someone bearing azan could be bearing azan like H, A could start it and H could start it. This is just like I'm, I'm using something. It might, it might look weird, but you can connect it by your self. 21. We have that to be biological drawing look. So, what is the biological drawing look that you should have? That's avoid shading your drawing either with lead pencil or coloring. I'm telling you that exactly what I was saying the other time that an artist could get 10% out of the total mark. Why? Someone that does not really have an uh, experience of artistic stops could be given something like 90, 80 and the likes. Because you don't need to shade. You don't need to impress your... Uh, your you just draw, draw draw things that are clear. You understand? So, make sure you are not shading it. Even with colors. It, they just need it to be plain and clear. So that they will see the words, the specimen very well. So, biological drawing title as well. In this very uh, frame, you should understand that what adhere to give your drawing appropriate title as stipulated by that very question. So the question will give you what you should label the diagram. So it could be the transverse section of a tomato, just like you can see on the screen. That's the transverse section side, and uh, you are talking about the dozer view as well. So that's the dozer view side as well. This very very important. Adhere to rubrics. Adhere to instruction. This would help you. Hello, 23 longitudinal section stroke transverse, transverse section so do not draw the longitudinal uh, section when transverse section is required and vice versa 24 talking about ventral stroke dozier view it's just just like longitudinal section and transverse section as well when you are required to draw something like ventral view don't draw a dozer view i'm telling you they will not give you your uh, your mark for that because you, you you've not done what the they would like you to to do now looking at 25 we have biological drawing magnification so here ensure you put the magnification of your drawing at the bottom right hand corner so at the bottom right hand corner try to put your magnification the uh, magnification there and then uh, the formula for magnification is size of the drawing over size of the specimen stroke objects so here yeah, uh, you would put the size of the drawing. What is the size of the drawing? Write it there. So that's what that's what you've drawn inside your drawing sheet. And what the size of the specimen also. That's the what that's the size of the specimen you were given. So you would look at the size of but the specimen. To save as well. time. But you may not really need to do this very magnification. But please try to do it. Um, you look at it. If there is no time again, just look at this uh, the specimen you were given. Is the specimen you were given times two more than the uh, the book you are like what you what you what you have in your book right now your drawing book the the scope is just that you look at the proportion of your drawing book the diagram you have in your drawing book to that very specimen if the diagram you have in your drawing book is around uh, times two of the specimen that means the magnification is times two that means you've magnified the specimen twice its amount that's just it and there are times that just like now, if you want to draw a woman being, you know that a woman being is bigger than the normal 
it might be bigger than the normal drawing book. It's, it's even normally bigger. You can't look, you are not drawing an artistic drawing that you look for a big book to draw a woman. So look at it very well. You see that what? A woman will be, so a woman, will be, that very specimen, which is a woman, will be bigger than what? Than what you have in your book. So that means that what? The magnification will be like zero point something. You understand? And uh, if your what the what you have in your book is more is bigger than the specimen, it will be times something. So you can just use your eye to look at it. Is it times two? Is it times three? Is it times four? Is it times five? And with this, you will save time when you know that your time is running out. And magnification is very important. There is no biological drawing you will not see magnification. You will not see tie two. I will still talk about that. Let, let's continue. Twenty six. We have that to be biological microscope magnification so if you're actually dealing with microscope the magnification is the eyepiece lens multiplied by the objective lens magnification and with this you will get the magnification of that very microscope so now let's move to what i said i will talk about before we end this video so that's that's the marking scheme of a biological examiner so here number one we have the tie two that's tl they call this tl so you must title that very uh, biological drawing correctly to be scored for that. Then we have quality. So under quality, we have clarity of lines, that's CL. And uh, we also have size, that's the size of that very drawing. Is it aligning with the normal size that you were given in your words, in your uh, in your question? And look at it also, neat labels. You know, I was talking about labels. I took you through several things about labels. So, you must what? Label neatly. And also, look at the magnification as well. The diagram you have, is it magnified correctly? So, they will look at that as well. Then, they will move to number three. That's the details. So, is no matter, these details, let's just take an example of a butterfly. So, yeah, they could, they could need you to, to make sure that there, there is this clubbed antenna in your drawing and also they would need they, they, they might need you to actually uh, bring out something like the three body division of that very butterfly you know body division of a butterfly surely you know that there is what head thorax and what and the abdomen these are actually talking about the details and if you have this correctly they would score you for details then the last one is labels so if you label those things correctly and uh, if you should include those things they would need you to label like the head like this type now, I'm, I'm actually talking typically about a WIKE examination, that's 2000 and uh, I've forgotten the, the year. So, so yeah, they needed them on that butterfly to label it like the head, they, they'll bring out the compound eye, they'll bring out the ink wing, they'll bring out the antenna, they'll bring out the thorax, abdomen and the likes. So with this, if you can do this correctly, you will be scored for title, quality, details and labels so several videos will be released on biology practical as well and uh, these things would help you to ace your examination if you've not subscribed endeavor to click the red subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos like this i will see you in the next video bye bye